So in this video, it's going to be all lecture. We're not going to go into Unity, and we're going to talk about trees and the theory behind trees and a lot of the uh, nomenclature definitions, uh, concepts around trees in Unity and gaming in general. Um, so let's talk what these various topics are and things that you should be aware of and, and what they are. So one is what we call level of detail. So if, if you're sitting by a window and you can look outside and you see any trees outside the window and look at a tree that's close to you. And, and, and if you look at it, you can see the different branches on that tree. You can see the different leaves. You can maybe even see the stems on those leaves connecting to the branches. Look at the bark. You can see the texture of the bark, the cracks in the bark, uh, a lot of detail in that. But that's when you're up close. Now, if you're to move away, and maybe now you look at a, a tree across the street, well, now I can see, I can see the leaves still. I can't see like the like the twigs or the, the the stems on those leaves anymore though, and I can see that there's branches. Maybe not all of them. Some of them are too thin for me to see, and I see those branches connect to a trunk. And um, I can't see like the cracks in the bark, but I can tell that it's kind of brown. It's got a couple different shades to it, right? And now if I look even further away, let's say I look on the on a mountainside that's in in the landscape behind those trees way back, the trees look are more like just blobs, right? I see kind of like a green shape that connects to a brown you know trunk at the bottom. And I, I just know it's brown and I know that the tree is green and then depending on if it's a, a different colors or different species of tree some of them are green some of them are light green some of them dark green some of them maybe have a red tint to them depending on the time of year i can tell that you know that i can tell that far away that that's a pine tree versus you know some type of deciduous tree but that's about it that's level of detail okay that's what it is so when in a game if you're close up you're presented a tree with a lot of detail that you can see those you know the leaves and the stems and the the cracks in the bark but far away you only see a blob and you might just be able to tell that it's a different kind of tree than another that's about it and that's important because it helps with performance a tree close up with all that detail is a lot of triangles um, and, you, and we talked about performance it's going to be harder on the gpu so as we move away we get rid of all that detail and it's much easier in the gpu so even though we have 5,000 trees that we're looking at in front of us, maybe we only need five of them at the level of detail, the ones that are the closest, to present you know, all that granular detail. Meanwhile, the other 4,995 can be uh, another level of detail that's not quite intense. Okay, so that's what level of detail is, and we're gonna show you that. Next thing is colliders. So in our game, when we hit a golf ball and we hit it into a tree, we want some interaction there. We don't want the golf ball to go right through the tree. So we need to add colliders. And these colliders are what we call primitives. They're circles. Um, they're, I shouldn't say circles, they're spheres. They are capsules, shapes of a capsule, like a pill capsule, or the shape of a, 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 a cylinder. And if you think about it, if you could place a cylinder over a trunk of a tree, that's that's really the shape of that trunk. It's circular and you know skinny and tall. So that would go around the tree, and we would assign that a wood material. So that when a ball hits it, you get, you know, and it cracks off the tree and goes ricocheting out the other direction because it hit solid wood. On the other hand, we might put some spheres in the shape of like the overall shape of the crown of the tree and the leaves of the tree. Put a couple spheres in there and assign them a leaf or leaves material so that when the ball hits them, maybe it goes through, but it's just redirected. It doesn't quite interact the same way as it hits solid wood, all right? So with colliders, we're gonna assign either a leaf material or a wood material, and we're gonna assign that material to what we call our collider objects. Um, other thing is color. So when we assign, uh, when we're talking about that level of detail, we have materials assigned to our bark, materials assigned to our leaves, and we can change the color of that to maybe, you know, darken it, lighten it, and make it, you know, blend a little bit better or look a little bit closer to the course we're going in. So that's the color. Then we've got performance. So we want to make sure that the trees that we're bringing in, this is really important if you're making your own trees or you're importing trees, you don't want to use what I would call uh, graphically expensive trees, which are trees with so much detail that when you pull them into your scene, they drag down your performance. Um, trees that have about the highest level of detail um, close up, about 
8,000 tries is a good number. So a, a good looking tree with an 8,000 tries at the highest level of detail is, is a well-made tree. There are trees that have 10,000 and 12,000. That's not bad. You just have to be aware that when you plant those, if you plant a lot of them, you could run into some performance issues. And then once you get into 15,000 or 20,000, you gotta be very careful. Um, so the base package does come with trees. Those trees, I would say, the best way to describe are tuned correctly. So the level of detail, the colliders are all good, the, the color's good, so you don't need to do much with them. But there's only about, I would say, 11 or 12 trees provided because, frankly, trees and games are expensive. They take a lot of time to make and it's hard to make good ones. So you can purchase additional trees. You can purchase trees through the Speed Tree website. Um, but be aware that you can only use version 7 speed trees. Version 8 and version 9 are not supported on our, our, our Unity. Um, however, uh, there are ways to hack the 8s and 9s and bring them, but it's a very advanced topic. We're not going to cover that here. Um, Nature Manufacturer in the Unity Store, they make some packages that have trees in them that can be used. They have to be manipulated a little bit. Uh, if you go into Discord, you can find some information on that and, and manipulating those Nature Manufacturers and, and how to bring those in and how to bring those trees. Those are pretty nice trees. Um, Seed Mesh, there's a channel on our Discord called Seed Mesh Discount and Unity Ask Assets, which goes where you can go out and you can get these Seed Mesh packages which have trees in them well. They're pretty nice, um, and for the most part, there's some scripts you have to download, but you can import those, and there's some information on the Discord channel about using those if you'd like to buy those. So those are purchasing trees. The other option is you can also make your own. Um, M-Tree, which I believe is $15, I'd have to check. It might be 20 bucks now, um, but M-Tree is a program that runs inside of Unity, so now you can create trees from scratch inside of the Unity environment and use those. Um, some of the trees that you'll see in the Unity Base project are trees that the community guys, like myself, we created a couple, so we added that to the base project. Um, but you can buy M Tree for the flat rate of 15 bucks, and then there's a special script you have to install to get it to work on our version of Unity. Um, and there's videos to do that on the Discord channel. More of an advanced topic, I wouldn't recommend you do that for your first course, and especially if you're just buying your first two holes. And then lastly, um, the one which is not too many people have used, which is you can Speed Tree, which makes really good trees. They have a service for $20 a month, which in my mind is a little too expensive, um, where you can go and make speed trees. Um, it's very, uh, I would say, customizable. Um, I haven't done it. It's on my list of things to learn. A couple people have done it. But the problem is technically you can't share of those trees. So anything you make in speed tree, you can't share with other people. You can only use it for your own benefit. So you can use it in yours, but you just can't give it to anybody else. Um, but it is an option. Um, but I don't see too many people using speed tree, although you could do it. Um, so that's it for this lesson. You are now up to speed on uh, tree theory topics.